Let us now build Super Trend Short Strategy. Here are the entry and exit conditions. For this strategy, we will use the following instruments. Before we build this strategy, we need to understand the following. What is Super Trend? Super Trend is a trend following indicator just like moving averages and MACD, moving average convergence divergence. It is plotted on prices and their placement indicates the current trend. The indicator is easy to use and gives an accurate reading about an ongoing trend. It is constructed with two parameters, namely period and multiplier. The default values used while constructing a super trend are 10 for average true range and 3 for its multiplier. With this assumption, we will set our entry and exit conditions. All right, let us start. 1. Click create from the strategies drop down. 2. Name your strategy. 3. Tag it with the appropriate type. And fill the description with your best understanding of the strategy as well as the parameters used in it. Before we create our entry conditions, we need to select our list of instruments, which the conditions will scan through, by clicking the three dots next to set number 1. If you are unaware what list is and how it works, please see the tutorial on it, created separately. Once the instrument list is selected, click Add an Entry Block. Note, TradeTron gives you the keyword to calculate super trend and crossovers. Please check our video or blog on what are keywords and how to use them. Back to Condition Builder. Select Position. Inside Position Keyword, select Cross in Series drop down and minus 1 as Position. Now click Cross. Then, select Super Trend in the first and Close Keyword in the second series drop down and click OK. The cross keyword returns true, when series on the left, crosses series on the right, from bottom to above. Inside the newly created cross keyword, click the super trend on the left and type 5 as period and 1 as multiplier, and click OK. Then click symbol. Select your period under candle type. Select number of candles under max history candles. And click OK. Now click instrument name. Choose the exchange from the first drop down. Scroll to the lists section and select your created list for this strategy. And click OK. Great! You have successfully created the first condition. Once all the conditions are done, click Submit to save your entry condition. Now that you have created your entry condition, you need to take your positions once this condition is satisfied. To do this, 1. Click Add Next to Positions. 2. Click Buy or Sell as per your strategy on top. 3. Since you had selected your list at the start of this, the system has automatically selected it for you. 4. Put your quantity. And click to add this position. Finally, you need to tell the system when to exit. You can do this in the exit block. Click Add Next to Exit to open the Condition Builder for Exit. Similar to how we built conditions for entry, follow the same procedure for exit. For the exit, we will build a Take Profit condition first. To do this, select LTP keyword from the drop down. LTP stands for Last Traded Price. Give it the instrument name and check if this value has gone above the take profit threshold using the math keywords. Great! You have successfully created the first condition. 
All you need to do now is to add more conditions and connect them with the logical operator. To understand how the logical connection works, please see our video made separately on this. Please note, the conditions will be connected to each other, with a logical OR, as we want to exit the trade whenever any one of the three conditions is satisfied. All that is left to do is scroll down and click Create, and select Deploy. Select Paper Trading for Execution. And you have successfully created your strategy. Now, go to your deployed page to see if the strategy is taking positions.